What's up Chucky boys, it's me Chucky the boy. Today I wanted to make a quick video kind of going over some of the key points that I learned from the new One Minute Manager. It's a book that I finished recently. I highly recommend it. It really didn't take too long to read. But this is not going to be a uh, audio book or anything. I'm just trying to kind of make some key points so I can come back later and reflect on this video and then also put it out there so maybe you can learn something. So in this book, there's really like four main things that I wanted to come back and reflect on later as far as like me personally. And they're what I think are like the most important four things and that's what I'm gonna be putting in this video. So first off, uh, it's gonna be on page 23. It's gonna be about one minute goals. You kind of assess the situation. You figure out exactly what problem needs to be solved or what exactly you're trying to achieve. Once you figure that out, you make a one minute goal, which is gonna be a paragraph or two. It, it cannot be longer than a page. It, you want it to be something that you can really read in a minute or less. So you can reflect on it really frequently because if you have like a huge stack of documents that's like, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this, you're never gonna look at it. And if you do, it's gonna be when you're done and then you're gonna figure out all the stuff that you did wrong along the way. The one minute goal, it's supposed to be a short summary showing exactly what needs to be done and what expectations are expected, I guess, how you should do the job, stuff like that, but in a very short summary. And the point of that is so that every morning or at least once a week, somebody can go back and read their goal and they can compare what they're currently doing to what their goal is, what they're trying to achieve. Another part of that is you want to write out what is in the goal, what's expected, and a due date because you want to actually put a time frame on getting things done. And the reason I think that's so valuable is because most of the time, in most jobs at least, you have like a yearly performance review. So like you might do really well on some things and you might do really awful on other things, but you have no idea until that full year comes around. And then they drop everything on you at once, which is usually awful because if they had said something, like if you had been corrected or if you had been able to compare what the main goal was with what you were doing in a shorter time frame, you can get a lot more done and it, you actually feel more fulfilled, I guess. That's what the book says. You feel more fulfilled in your work because you were actually able to see, okay, this is what I was supposed to get done and this is what I got done. Part number two of this book that I thought was really valuable is on my pink piece of paper towel. It's going to be page 33 and this was the second rule. So there's three rules in the new One Minute Manager. There's three like main rules that they explain in this book. This is the second one. It's the one minute praising. So usually in jobs, there's a lot of scolding. Like if you mess up, they get mad. You mess up, you get punished, stuff like that. And there is a time and a place for that. When you're trying to achieve, everybody's trying to achieve a common goal, it's important that everybody remains positive. And when you're scolding an employee or scolding a coworker, whatever it might be, uh, you're bringing the overall morale down and now they feel more resentment towards you than actual cooperation. And so the one minute praising is essentially get ca catch people doing something right. That's what the book defines it as. Catch somebody doing something right. An example of a one minute praising is going to be like a minute long, man. You you point out exactly what you like that they did. I think you did you did awesome back there figuring out how to park your car. You did an awesome job. And that makes me feel happy because it helped you move on to the next project. You did it really well and we were able to move on. The next part is the pause. It doesn't have to be a long pause. It could just be a second. But once you express to the person you're talking to how well their good job made you feel, when you hit that pause, it gives them a chance to also reflect and realize, damn, I did a good job. And this guy's happy and I'm happy. And then right after that, you go back into it and you let them know. Keep up with the good work. You gotta encourage them. So you point out exactly what they did well, tell them how it made you feel, let them feel how it made you feel, and then keep the encouragement going into the next goal. The third part of the new One Minute Manager is gonna be the One Minute Redirect. And this is the final part of the whole paper deal at least. So the One Minute Redirect is when somebody does mess up on something, Instead of waiting that full year for a year review or something, you do a one minute redirect. So you immediately sit them down and you analyze the situation. You figure out exactly what the facts are. Where did they mess up? Or what was the actual point where the mistake was made? As soon as you figure that out, you sit down with the person, again, less than a minute, a minute at most, and you tell them exactly what they did wrong. This shouldn't be an aggressive manner. It's just what they did wrong. Hey. You really could have done better parking inside the lines in your parking spot. 
it kind of aggravates me because it makes it harder for the next person to get into their parking spot. Again, same min same way as the one minute praising, you have to pause to let them kind of feel the emotion of what you're saying. It made me angry the way that you did that because it makes it more difficult for your coworkers to get into their parking spots. Give them a second. Now they kind of feel, oh yeah, I can see how that makes sense. And then you immediately go back into the redirect, which is basically saying, look, I know you have it in you. You gotta encourage them. I know you have it in you. I've seen you park a million times perfectly. It's just sometimes we slip up. But I know you can get into that parking spot perfectly. And next time, I know you will. And that's really the main points of the one minute redirect. The biggest parts of that is point out the mistake very clearly. Make sure you know what the mistake is and point it out very clearly. Express how that mistake makes you feel or how it affects the business. You gotta leave that pause so they can fully understand the effects of what happened. And then the last part is to make sure that you redirect the energy in a positive direction. Because if you leave it on that sad note, ultimately it leads to resentment. And you don't want that, you want cooperation. You wanna get a common goal achieved. And so you have to redirect the energy, let them know that they can do it. That this is not a value of their person, it's just one mistake along the way. And that once they figure it out, we're back up and on to the next goal. This second, or this fourth part now. This fourth part isn't as much something that was heavily driven in the book, but it was kind of just something that was said that I liked a lot. It might just be a feel-good statistic. I don't know, but it, I don't know, it was motivating for some reason. Who knows? But it says, the book said, 20% of your work makes up for 80% of your results. And to me, I really can't explain why I like that quote, but I like it. It's kind of just saying like you don't have to go hard. You don't have to you don't have to constantly be pushing 100% of the time because you're gonna burn up. It's just saying like 20% of the time you spend is that really valuable time, and that's what accounts for what you really achieve. And that's just something I wanted to include in this video because when I read it, I liked it. And the last thing I wanted to mention was on page 88. They got this whole diagram which just kind of nicely goes back and reiterates the different aspects. So you have the three parts. You've got the one minute goal. You set the goal, you set very clear expectations, and then you motivate. You make sure it's a short thing so you can reflect on it very frequently instead of having a yearly review or a monthly review. It's almost a daily thing that people can look back on on their own. It doesn't have to be a manager involved activity. And if the goals work, then obviously you get to the one minute praisings. You tell them, hey, you did a really awesome achieving blah, blah, blah. That makes me feel good. It does this and that. Pause. Gotta give them the pause. Go back into it. Encourage them. Let's do it again. Let's get more bread. Let's get our funds up, right? Whatever it is. And if the goals don't work, if they fall through, or if somebody makes a mistake that plunges the deal, whatever happens, you go into the one minute redirect, which is where you explain very clearly what the mistake was, what went wrong, how you feel about it, pause, make sure they feel it too, go back into the redirect and let the person know that just because they messed up or they've messed up a couple times or the goal is not achieved in the time frame, it doesn't make them worthless. It just means that you got to push a little harder next time or do things a little differently, but you know they can do it. So yeah, that pretty much summarizes the major points that were hit in this book. I recommend you go back and read it yourself because it, it really doesn't take too long to read. I mean, it's a pretty short book. It took me like an hour to sit down and read the entire thing straight. But I learned a lot of valuable information. I'll definitely be coming back to this video to reference it just for myself because I'm gonna be forgetting this thing. And that's the whole point is to come back quickly and reflect it. Hopefully this video isn't too long. I have no idea how long this is gonna be at this point. But yeah, check it out. Anyway, Chucky Boy out. Adios.